Come on, now you. My eggs, like, you put them, put his sperm up in me, then yeah. Whoa, now we're about to have a long <laughs> conversation after this. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cypher's Pit Prototype Podcast. This is episode four, and uh, we have your lovely host, D Cypher, the one and only. We got Elbow here in the booth. Yo. And then we have my better half, Shiny215, sitting there in the corner. Hey. <laughs> it's good to be here with you today. No, it's not. It's good to be here with you today. Thanks. I know that. <laughs> and we have a steaming pile of topics ready wow. for your pleasure and entertainment. Wow. So we have four awesome topics for you today. Topic number one comes from Elbow. If you had an island and you got a bunch of Mexicans to build you a mansion on said island, is it illegal to have them gladiator fight for their freedom? You own this island? Yes, yeah, your island in international waters. Then no, it's not illegal. You could definitely do that. You can? You can do that. You can have people gladiator fight? As long as you, you bought the land, right? Well, I, it's an island, so I would assume, yeah. I mean, you could just be on the island and say it's your island. Did you pay for it? Is it legitly yours? What are the ramifications? Okay, then yeah. You could do as you please. So you can. That seems kind of... You never seen... Or no, not seen. You ever read The Most Dangerous Game? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that was illegal. No, not like for the, he like, owned all the only that. The thing is, I don't know how anybody would enforce it. Like, like who would tell you to stop? Nobody could. Nope. They could be like, "Yo, that's kind of unethical what you're doing." Yeah, but who's gonna find out? It's gonna be a, me and a bunch of my friends. The survivors, the people who won, they're gonna be like, "He made us fight I'm for our them, freedom." I'm gonna tell them if they tell anybody, I'm gonna kill their families. Wow, kind of an evil dictator, dude. Are you gonna comment on the hidden island thing? What? Talking about the Mexicans? Yeah. What are you talking about? They already do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she knows either. That's what, about the Mexicans. What are we talking about? Put on the island, correct? No. <laughs> what was the topic? She don't remember the topic. She don't know the topic. The topic was if you had an island and you had Mexicans fight on that island for their freedom, is that illegal? Gladiator fight. To Gladiator death. fight to the death. What the fuck? Is that illegal? You got you got wood plants? Let's just jump it. Let's just jump it. Yeah, I got oh, wood yeah, planks. No, 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 no. Let's just jump it. You can jump it. I got a lot of first. precious stuff on first. me. You're the leader. This is Cypher's pit. They will say it's no. illegal, but I still don't think Mexicans oh. won't fight. Try to take <laughs> me there. You said they won't fight? They won't fight with each other, no. Why the hell not? They're Why would you think they not fight each other? Freedom? If they don't fight, then they're going to die. Who's going to kill them? Me. It's my island. They won't turn around and kill you. Mexicans and you the only person? No, I'm not the only person. It's me and a bunch of my friends drinking beers. I'm watching those fights. Yeah, definitely. I'm putting them on international YouTube. <laughs> we give them like real racist weapons like hoes and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They'll air it late night on Telemundo! It's like rakes and shit. And then they gotta fight to the death with like rusty rakes. Oh, you don't want to get hit by a rusty rake. That's tetanus, man. That's tetanus easily, unless you got your shot, which most Mexicans don't. <laughs> Chilo Green would disapprove. <laughs> so it is. It's not illegal. It is illegal. You, you, you on this island, you said they could do whatever they want. Oh, you found this house. I told you I was going to find this house. I was making my own tunnel that I never finished. Topic number two. This is a Star Wars themed question. Who? Obviously, we don't know, but we're speculating. Who do we think Ray's parents are? You said Han Solo or Leia? Han Solo and I'm about to say because it can't be an or. I mean, let's say he stepped out. I think uh, Ray's parents are Luke or Obi Wan. Obi Wan? Yeah, I think he had a kid. He was like 60. 
Oh, it's probably her granddaughter then. His granddaughter. He never had kids. Who knows? He's a fucking hermit. He was and until he started. Jedi Knight. Jedi Knights are supposed until to he started body. killing people in uh fucking. No, no, he was killing people in the bar too. He started killing people most Eisley. He's like, man, fuck the rules. I have money. Yo, what's up with a most Eisley fucking map on Battlefront? You played it? Battlefront? Yeah, they got one, right? No, they're supposed to. I thought they had one. And it's on Tatooine. They should have had one. Yeah, that's what I was in the under the impression of that they had one. Nah, they never had one. No, but think about it. Well, didn't they say? I feel like I, I didn't finish this. I feel like I read an article saying that they had. Oh, we did we rumble? Nope, died fast. I feel like I was reading an article saying that either race parents were in episode seven or they weren't in episode seven. Oh, that was fucking specific. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't remember which one it said. So if it said that they were in episode seven, then it's obviously Luke. If it said that they weren't in episode seven, then it's probably nobody that doesn't mean matter. Now the actress knows Daisy Ridley. She knows who Ray's parents are. Uh, one of the filmmakers was like, it doesn't really matter. So if they're a minor character, then it's like, how are you gonna feel about that? Cause I'm gonna feel a little bit disappointed. Cause like, how the fuck she know all this force stuff? She gotta be a Skywalker. So when I said Luke, then why'd you laugh? Because it's Leia. It's not Luke. If it's Leia, it's so corny. And Leia, did, it would explain why Leia hugged her, but Leia it was would like know. A Forty-five second hug. Leia would know, and why wouldn't Leia say something? Why wouldn't she say something to her daughter? That's so stupid. She, she just let her. A Forty-five second hug. They needed, just, the only reason they didn't, like they, they never share words. Do they ever share words in the movie? No. The only reason that. Probably like be safe when you go out there. That's what I'm saying. Like they did, they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to spoil anything. Yeah, but cinematically, I get why, but realistically, it's kind of stupid. Realistically, if you just saw your daughter after you didn't see her for years, you'd give her a 45 second hug. But you would also say, you know, I'm your daughter. I you'd mean, be, I'm your you'd mom. be a little upset that she's wearing makeup, but other than that. <laughs> uh, that's from our last episode. <laughs> you'd be a little upset, but other than that, you'd be happy just to see your daughter. You would also acknowledge the fact that, oh, you're my daughter, by the way. Wait, what? Yeah, I yeah, left but, you on yeah, Jakku. Ray, Ray knew who was she was waiting for. She just never said who she was waiting for. She knew who she was waiting for. So if she saw Leia, she would just give her a forty-five second hug, right? No, she didn't know who her parents were. It, she Ray just was left. She got left as a kid too. Left by who? It doesn't specify. It doesn't say. Yeah, so you don't know if her parents left her there. It was just like, yo, wait a bunch of years for me. Which is stupid because why would they let? Uh, Kylo Ren just do whatever. Were they trying to protect Kylo Ren? Oh, one of our kids went bad. Hopefully, both our kids don't <laughs> yeah, go but bad. They didn't go bad. Like, how much older is Kylo than Ray? The actor is ten years older, but I don't know in the movies. But the actor is like ten years older than her. Screw this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, my guess definitely Luke. But it could be Obi Wan. I, I don't say know. Definitely, and then say could be Obi Wan. Because it's definitely, probably, definitely, probably Luke. But it's, ah, but it's probably Obi Wan. No, it's, it's, it's probably Obi-Wan. Luke. It's Leia. Trying to make my escape. You said it's Leia. It's Leia. Why you feel like it's Leia? It's my house now. You hear me? Why do you feel like it's Leia? It's Leia because she's a Skywalker and Luke's a Jedi Knight and Jedi Knights can't have kids. Well, I mean, yeah, that's sound logic, but I don't know. Could be anybody. <laughs> and also the 45 second hug. Which J.J. Abrams was like, that was an oversight because really Chewbacca should have got the hug. Cause then why didn't he? Because it was an oversight. It was stupid on their behalf not to let Chewbacca get the hug. Because Chewbacca was like, oh, we both lost somebody near and dear. I lost Han. You lost Han. Yeah, and she never saw Rey. Are we just going to gloss over the fact that she never saw Rey before? And that's not her daughter? Exactly. That's why that was a huge oversight. Because it's her daughter. Nah. Uh, we'll see. In the year? What is it? Two years? Gosh. Year and a half. It's a long time. Like a while. Shantae, you were pretty active on that topic. And your controller cut off. So I guess it's down to two. And then there were two. Oh, so you didn't hear me? You weren't talking. Topic number three. <laughs> <laughs> another one. Uh, another good one. If Idris Elba wanted to buy your kid for $300 million, would you let him? Yes. 
I don't have any kids yet, so I don't know the special bond of parenthood. So I'm, I'm just gonna saying, say it's just over. he can't have no you kids, want right? Your, you want to sell your kids? You want to let them wear makeup? Shantae, can't nobody hear you because you took out the whole mic and everything too. Your controller's off. <laughs> I don't have a heart. Turn your controller on. Yeah, your control is off and being inactive from the podcast. If his elbow couldn't have kids and he wanted to buy your kid for $300 million to raise him as his own, you wouldn't let him. How old is my kid, theoretically, in this? Uh, A year. A year? Go ahead. I get another one. Three hundred million. <laughs> Again, this is coming from someone who doesn't have kids. I got kids. Yes, yeah, so I don't understand the special bond of it. I'm sure, it's definitely it. dope. And will my I be able kid, to keep in touch I with? I feel like Idris Elba will be like a great father. And Are you still like, able to be in this kid's life? No. Oh fuck that. Probably still take the three hundred million, but I, again, I don't know that special bond. So what you said, Lawrence? You said yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Vicky gonna slap the shit out you when she hear this podcast. Wow, dog. I don't have to. My kid don't gotta be in my life for me to love him. As long as I know that he's happy and he's rich. Money don't make you happy. Yeah, but he's my kid, so he's probably gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to spawn back in the house. Come here, mother- so, Shantae, what you think? Why not? Because it's mine. He's a person. You don't get to own him. He's a person. I don't get to what? You don't own him. He's a person. He came out of me. You don't own him. He's a person. It came out of me. It? it? So, I own him. You said it. Oh my gosh! If you wanting to use my eggs, then you gotta pay me three hundred million. It came out of you. Ah, oh, come on now. You my eggs, like you put them, put his sperm up in me. Then yeah. Whoa! Now we about to have a long <laughs> conversation after this. I let him get it for three hundred million, but if he, I have you'll let him hit for three hundred million. I said I let him get it. Yo, you said you'll let him get it. You literally being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I let him get the baby for three hundred million. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You said I, I let him get it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I don't. Him, I know I clearly you have a price tag. <laughs> I was saying I let him get the baby for 300 million. You just, that's not what you said, though. That's how I did say that. You said I'll let him get it. Yeah, don't, because we, we got the recording. We'll we listen to it said. later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was it for topic three. Final topic of the show. This one is a good one. This one was brought to you by Shiny215. Would you want gender separation at school? Meaning every school is an all-boys school and or a all-girls school. I would like to know Shantae's answer to this question before I answer. <laughs> Why? Where you going, slut? What's I mean, Shantae's answer? What extra security? Why extra, extra security? security? This was your question. Why I you want? I would like to do separation, but they have to have extra security. Uh, have they ha- oh, no. god damn it, Adam! Come here. Shanta, like you gotta watch him since you're not playing the game. No, I got him. Oh, he's <laughs> fucking badass. So okay, wait, you said you want that to be extra security? It can be that, but as long as they got extra security. What you mean? Like extra security at the school. What well, you, you, this is your topic, so why you want the separation? What they, they gotta do with they it? They should have extra security at schools, rego- rego- like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you need more, more security. Yeah, but what's that got to do with gender separation? Are we arguing that security at schools is good? Because, yes, I agree. Are we arguing that security for schools is a good thing? I thought we were arguing about the interest That's what I'm saying, but you're not arguing that. You're, ha <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that security in schools is good. Which is, you can't argue that. Everybody agrees with that. Yeah, your your topic was do you want gender separation? You saying that it's gonna add an extra layer of security or are you saying that you want that and then you want extra security as well? Yes. So, so why do you want, want gender, gender separation? separation? 
together. You think girls should stick together? I couldn't see what you're saying if you're saying that. No, like, I think that having you should the opposite learn sex to, is going to be like a distraction in no, school. No, I think you should learn to communicate with both sexes at school. And that's where you learn that from when you're a yeah, developing like you child. You learn how to have people skills and at school with people you communicate with and interact with every day. You shouldn't just know how to talk to boys until you're fucking twenty. Then go to you're college be a and half use a person. Like, yeah. Then you go to college and you go be like, well, I don't really know how to associate myself because you didn't have that experience. You're gonna be a half a person. Like subtopic off of this, would you prefer a public schooling, private school, charter school, or homeschool? Homeschool is for weirdos. Uh, charter school is for yo. What the fuck? Why are you saying homeschool is for weirdos? Homeschool is for weirdos. Why? Because if you get homeschooled, you're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody I know they got homeschooled is a weirdo. Well, again, all this stuff doesn't matter here in the world. You can't protect them. Ah, come here! <laughs> you can't protect them. Everybody from everything. I'm not saying that, but you can protect. You can protect them as much as you can. That's well. I guess so. Yeah, I can't argue that. But why would you? Why, why would you would protect your kids? Yeah. When you want to protect your kids. I usually let my kid run around the whole room. He all usually gets like bruises on his head and stuff. He used to walk right off the bed. So should I stop him from walking off the bed? Yeah. No. Now he knows not to walk off the bed. He too young to take that kind of higher brain thought. He's done it three times. Vicky dropped him three and a half times by herself. That's on recording, right? Nice. Got it. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are our four topics for today. No, what? wait. I didn't answer. Oh, you didn't answer. Sorry. I do want gender separation. Why'd you make it seem like you're going to be against it just to just say you are? I do want gender separation so that I can dress up. Well, I guess I could have dressed up like a girl and then infiltrated the girl's school. Then my name could have been Lauren. And then we'd have been like, oh, the girls are up to something. We got to go in there and take it in there to send me in as a spy. And then I would, then it would have been, it would have been like a movie. Lawrence just wanted an excuse to wear a thong. I would not wear a thong. Those things are uncomfortable. He's saying that from experience. <laughs> how can, how can <laughs> no, it's just him. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Another day, another episode of Cypress Pit Podcast. Do you got a topic that you want to see on the show? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.